runners. You know me. Here we are at the Body Evolution booth at the Natural Olympia. This place is electric, a lot of electricity in the air today. I'm going to take some boom by the bodyevolution.com. Here's the reason they call it boom because it explodes when you open it. <laughs> boom, baby! I'll tell you, this stuff is a stick of dynamite. Guzzle, guzzle, guzzle. There you go. Yep. Tired you work. Contractions like they go up like sticks of dynamite in the gym. Go take some boom. Go to thebodyevolution.com. Check that stuff out. Standing here with Philip Ricardo Jr. Philip, so you've gained a few pounds since the Orton Cup a couple weeks ago. Oh yeah, I took a little time off. You know, I ate some food at the Cheesecake Factory after after the show. Uh, I want to put on some weight. I, I got up to 190, and I slowly dropped it down, and I was about 180 yesterday. So I'm still holding that weight right now. So I should be, you know, a good five pounds heavier than at the Orton. Um, I've been carving up like crazy today to make sure I'm full. I'm gonna continue that through tomorrow, and you know, I'm gonna be able to hang with, you know, Justin and, and Kilshi and everybody else. It's gonna be a great pro class. I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully, it's gonna be some redemption from the Orton. So. Oh yeah, there's definitely a tough lineup of pros coming to this show uh, with Justin Figueroa, like you said before, and you got a. Uh, couple other guys, Chris Jans to name a couple. Uh, so what did you change, to you, what kind of changes in your diet took place uh, since the Orton Cup? And like I said, I kind of just added a lot more carbs in there. I kept it clean. You know, I kind of went off my diet that one, you know, two days actually. Um, but I've cut it down. I, you know, I've had Jason look at me, David Edgel, and they said I'm even big, bigger and better than I was at the Yorton. So right now with the carbs I'm putting in, I should be a lot fuller than I was at the Yorton, and hopefully that's going to be the winning uh, formula. And I'm, I'm looking forward to stepping on stage for real. It's going to yeah. be nice. Now, Kiyoshi is really big. He's probably the biggest guy in natural bodybuilding. So was that part of your strategy coming into the show to get more filled out, to become bigger so you can look, you know, like you can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kiyoshi more so? Hey, definitely. You know, when he beat me in 2010 at the Olympia, his thing was he was way bigger than I was. I had the condition, but I was just way too small. For me to stand next to him, pose for pose, front last spread, rear last spread, everything else, I gotta come in thick, I gotta come in wide, and Kyoshi, he's the master of size, like you said. I know to beat him, I gotta also have the size as well as the condition. So not only am I coming in bigger, I gotta keep that same conditioning I had at the Yorton Cup. Now this is the first time I've ever been to the Natural Olympia and I just can't get over this venue, Rico. Uh, what are your thoughts on the whole event as a whole here at the Natural Olympia? I tell you, nothing's more electrifying. As soon as you come into the hotel room, you've seen posters up of, you know, you got Kyoshi, you got Tanika, you got Justin, you got myself on there. It's just awesome. People can walk through the hotel and like, wow, what's this? What's going on? Even if they're here to see the show or not, they know that something huge is about to happen, yeah. you know, and you coming here now makes it even bigger, you know, because now we got the, you know, the advertisement you come into this I mean it's unreal the stage the seats I mean it's it, they do a great job a lot of vendors here you know it looks like almost in like the Arnold Classic the Olympia but on a natural you know level so it's great yeah Denny Keiko is a certain certainly outdoing himself here this year at the Natural Olympia so let's talk about the body evolution what products have you taken uh, getting you ready for this show hey, I continue taking the whole stack you know between evolve you know, whey protein, boom, of course, is my favorite. I just got through taking a couple of them today, and I'll take it even before I get on stage tomorrow because nothing gives me a better pump right before I get on stage, get the veins popping out, just get me, it gives you that energy and endurance on stage. So when I'm going through, who knows, 30, 45 minutes against the tough, you know, class of competitors, I need that boom and that energy while I'm on stage to get me there keep me focused, keep me tight the whole entire time. Hopefully give me an edge on the competition as well. Uh, I'm taking krill oil, glutamine, creatine. I take the whole stack because it's nice, clean food, clean supplementation that I know, A, is drug free. B, is gonna just help me get clean food in my body instead of putting a lot of fillers and stuff in my body. I like to keep it clean. I don't put a lot of crazy stuff in me because I think if it's, you know, if it's not clean, then I'm not gonna come in condition. So, love the products. For sure, and we always know you're going to bring the conditioning, that's for sure. Well, we're just getting this party started here at the Natural Olympia. It's Friday, so we got a big weekend ahead of us. The amateurs are on stage today. That's what you hear in the background right now. Pros are on stage tomorrow. More videos coming your way. Be sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I'll show you guys everything that goes on and takes place this weekend at the Natural Low. Until next time, bodybuilding fans, Philip Ricardo Jr. I'm Mike Newman. This is Inside Natural Bodybuilding. We're out of here. Thanks for watching. Ah.